I think it could be. Um, in years past, I've definitely been busy um, kicking. You know, had a lot of kicks in each iron ball I played in. So, you know, that might be a part of it. But you know, you never know how things shake out. And so, you know, regardless, I'll I'll try and do whatever I can to be ready and you know have my best game. Could you punt? Could I punt? Yeah, I've still kind of kept it in my back pocket. Um, and so if, if anything ever were to happen, you know, I, I could always be kind of an emergency punter. How's it feel to be a Rosen finalist for the third year in the uh, it's, it's surprising. You know, I, I was kind of looking at numbers, and it's it's funny because I get to vote for, you know, the girl as a finalist and stuff because I was a past finalist. Um, so I'm part of that selection committee. Um, so I definitely voted myself. They told me to do that. Um, <laughs> But, you know, it, I was surprised, you know, just looking at the numbers and stuff at some of the kickers across the country. Um, but, <clears throat> excuse me, it's a, it's a huge honor. And so um, it's, it's fun to go back and get to spend some time with, you know, the people that put it on and um, just to get to know a couple other kickers that, you know, have been really su successful this year. Do you think third time will be a charm? <laughs> I don't know. We'll, we'll see. Um, you know, I don't want to give my hopes up again and, you know, get let down. But, um, you know, I've, I've had a couple of good years and, you know, obviously this year um, was able to make the cut. So um, we'll see. But it's it's a fun event and just it's, it's cool to be rewarded a little bit for your, your hard work and stuff that you put in. Do you get to vote for the winner too? I do get to vote for the winner too. So we'll see. I um, have to weigh my options. But I, I think I like my, <laughs> my, my name on the ballot box. So we'll see. You can't. They they told me to do it last year because uh, two years ago I didn't or last year I guess I didn't know that I could have voted um, for the this past year um, after one, going the first uh, first time as a finalist. So I guess all finalists are part of that selection committee. There's 300 something people, um, you know, coaches and former kickers, NFL kickers and stuff. So a mixture of guys and girls. Um, so. Pretty, pretty funny to be able to do that. So you didn't vote last year? I didn't vote last year, so, you know, maybe I lost by one vote. That's my fault. Who knows? Kerryon said that uh, even though you guys won't have classes this week, it isn't like you have free time. Could you maybe go a little bit deeper in that? With this yeah, I mean, it's, you know, obviously we don't have any other classes, or um, and obviously school's always a priority when, you know, you're in the middle of a game week and stuff. Obviously, you have to show up for classes before you go to treatment and workouts, and you know all your schedules around those classes. But um, this week, no classes, so um, that makes us, you know, able to have some more meetings and some more um, treatment and recovery, whatever it is. Um, just some more time to stay in, locked in, and focused on the game, and make sure we're, you know, a hundred percent once we once we get to Saturday. Mm -hmm. how, how much does this game, this one, one last game to Alabama mean to you? Yeah, it's, it's big. You know, it's going to be senior night. It's going to be, you know, the obviously there's so many implications going forward too. So it, it's really special. Um, and then for me personally, the Iron Bowl is really cool because I grew up watching Alabama football. My parents went to Alabama, my grandparents, you know, so a lot of history there. So it's, it's kind of just always been a special game. But... I mean, it's, it's the Iron Bowl, so there, there doesn't need to be, you know, any more hype around that. But, you know, I think just because it's such a big game and there's so much on the line, um, it just makes it so much more exciting. And um, obviously, it's just going to be a very, very cool opportunity. And, um, you know, the last time we beat them was in 2013, and that was my red shirt year. So, you know, I'd love to go out, you know, kind of with a bang because um, definitely came in. Um, with a with a bang and a special special iron bowl. Could you have made that kick that Alabama attempted? I mean, I like to think so, but you know, maybe maybe I'll get an opportunity this Saturday, but we'll we'll see. You think about some of the guys that weren't redshirted that year, or the guys that are seniors not redshirted, have never beaten Alabama. How important is a game like 
this, you think, for them to not get swept by yeah. the rival in those four years? Yeah, I think that's definitely, you know, something that, I mean, nobody obviously wants to be swept by anybody, um, but, you know, there's a lot of bragging rights, and, um, you know, it's obviously just a huge game for this state and for um, Auburn each year. So, um, you know, obviously this one's just going to be a huge one because whoever wins goes on to the SEC championship and stuff too. So, um, you know, we've we've worked hard as a team and, you know, especially this senior group, um, you know, I can tell just really wants it just because, like you said, it's been, you know, tough losing to them three times in a row now. And, um so it'd be special to kind of end our career on a good note with them. Daniel, last week you were kicking the ball like normal for touchbacks. Did you mm -hmm. make any adjustments from the previous week? No, it was just um, little things. And, um, you know, obviously I wanted to hit it a little better two weeks ago, but um, it just wasn't happening. And so we had to make some adjustments and, you know, kick some different different kicks and change things up. So, um, you know, hopefully I'm back on track now with, with those touchbacks. How much time have you guys spent on kickoff coverage? Yeah, um, you know, obviously we cover all of the special teams, um, but definitely, you know, had to make some corrections. A lot of it's little things. So, um, you know, I think the team's improved, and, you know, that's what we're trying to do each week and, um, you know, make sure that whenever we do have to cover, we're going to be ready for that. There we go, Danny. All right, thank you all. Thanks, sir.